Hey, what's up everyone? More to here, and today we're gonna to be going over how to throw a consistent spiral. We're gonna start the video right now. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of messages lately of people really struggling in throwing the spiral and you know whether it ends up being more like a duck or going more to one side, you know, just having a real issue in throwing the football consistently. And so I just wanna go over a few things that can be contributing to any type of struggle with throwing a spiral. The first thing I wanna go into is how you're actually holding the football. So you can see with me, I got two fingers off the laces, two fingers kind of on the laces. I'm just trying to spread my fingers out and I try to get that index finger pretty high. And, and the big thing that I really want you to understand is like when you're holding this, you know, you wanna think of it, it's like a, a baby. It almost has like the same shape ahead of a lot of babies. As many of you should know, when you're holding a baby, you have to be nice and gentle. You don't wanna be holding it all tight and, and squeezing it really tight. And, and a lot of you guys are just holding the football way too tight, right? Think of it like, you know, you wanna have protection when you're holding a baby. You don't want it to be all over the place and, and falling, right? When you're, when you're holding a baby, you don't want them to just fall over. But at the same time, we don't wanna be squeezing it and squeezing the life out of the football or squeezing the life out of the baby. So think of it like you're, you're holding and protecting a baby when you're you're actually holding onto the ball. The next big thing is gonna be the arm path. And this is really important because I see a lot of people mess this up. And, and really what ends up being the biggest problem, I think, is the consistency of the arm action. So when you're going through the throw, there wants to be a consistent kind of arm action that, that we're going through or, or one consistent motion, right? So the more that we end up going here or here, so, so the further we kind of get off of this path, the ball path, then the more difficulty there is gonna be in throwing a consistent spiral. And that ends up being the biggest thing is that, you know, when you're not throwing a spiral consistently, it's because you're changing up the mechanics. So sometimes, you know, when you're trying to make some specific adjustments within your mechanics, it's actually a good thing to see some degree of change within your spiral because that means that you're actually making change within your mechanics but if you're somebody who is just trying to work on throwing a consistent spiral then i would say that there is too much difference between one throw to the next in terms of your mechanics which is making it so you're struggling with throwing cons consistent spiral and then if that ends up being the case which probably a big part of that is that when you're throwing you're just way off with your actual motion of the football. The football wants to be able to have this kind of throwing plane that it's going through. And so when you end up going too far back here or over to the side here, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to be consistent with how, you, how the ball comes out of your hand. And as always guys, if you like the information, go ahead and click that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, you can leave those down below. We're gonna hop right back in the video. The next thing goes into how the ball is leaving your hand. So when the ball is actually leaving your hand, you wanna be here and, and there's like a rotation that's happening in your hand right so you're here and you're turning the hand so it's kind of moving like that but and, and that's before you actually release it then when you release it it wants to be pushing with that index finger and then rotating through and then the arm wants to be coming across right so i'll show you going facing you guys so it's here right we're bringing the ball here i'm rotating so the nose of the football is facing straight ahead i'm getting that elbow to come all the way through and then i have that nose of the football facing towards you and then from here i'm pushing with my index finger Okay, so my index finger ends up being the last thing that comes actually out towards you, and then I'm coming down from there. I'm not going like that, right? I'm going like that. Not like that, like that, as I'm actually releasing the ball. And so those are really the three main things that go into it, you know, and there's a lot of people that I would say, you probably are doing all three of those things. You're probably holding the football too hard. You're probably not getting the ball in a consistent, throwing plane, right? You're getting it too far off to the side and not getting, keeping that ball on that, on that consistent plane. And, and when you're real quick, when I, when you do that, you know, there are going to be some slight times where the, the ball is not going to go perfectly in that alignment, but it, it wants to be able to, if it's off for a second, it wants to be right back onto that plane. You just want to have a lot of time where like the ball is back behind your head, or you don't want to be releasing with the ball way out away from your body either. All right, and then the last thing is, and when the ball's coming off of your hand, you're probably not making it so the wrist flick is consistent, right? You might be every once in a while getting that, you know, good wrist flick and, and making it so you're releasing with that index finger coming back and through. And, you know, even with those, when you do that one out of 10, that might not be a consistent throw. It has to make it so you can do that you know, eight out of 10 times, and then you'll be able to start to understand how to throw a consistent spiral. But again, you know, this is a very delicate thing. The football is very delicate. It's like a baby, like I said. So if you tr are not treating it correct, it's going to whine and scream and not be a good spiral. So you have to be able to treat it nicely and be able to be very consistent in the treatment of it in order for you to get the result that you're wanting to get. I'm gonna do a couple of throws so you guys can actually see what throwing the spiral looks like.
All right, and those are going to be the three keys of throwing a consistent spiral. Again, if you like the information, click that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel. That really helps us out a ton. And then check out some of the links in the description to be able to see more about our programs or doing a Zoom session, our individual sessions. I'm adding a lot more value to all of those things just to make it so you're able to get much more out of it. I'm trying to help your quarterbacks get so much better here, you know, especially in the 2021 season. I want to see a ton of quarterbacks have a ton of success within our program. And so I'm working as hard as I can to make it so you're able to understand coverages, have the right mindset, have stronger shoulders, stronger upper bodies, better range of motion in the core, uh, have a great understanding of what you need to work on it with, from a mechanic perspective, be able to throw it to the right, throw it to the left, everything that you need to be able to do, improve your throwing distance. Everything's going to be great. Check out the program. I really recommend you guys doing that. I'm going to over deliver on that 100%. We're going to do Zoom sessions. We're going to do breakdowns. We're going to meet one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to make sure that you get a ton out of that. So if you want to, check that out down in the description, or we could just do an individual Zoom session if that is a little bit more cost-effective for you. It'd be great to connect with you guys with a Zoom session. I think those are hugely beneficial. Have some time one-on-one -on -one to be able to talk about everything that has to do with being a quarterback. It's not always about mechanics. It's also a lot deeper than that a lot of times. And so I want to be able to talk to you as much as I can and help you guys out as much as you can. So check all that out in the description like the video talk to you soon